Knee arthroplasty is the third most common medical implant surgery in the world, with over 600,000 procedures performed annually in the US alone. For the majority of these patients, osteoarthritis is the principal cause. This disease causes cartilage around the knee to degrade and results in the femoral and tibial heads rubbing off one another. Traditional knee replacement surgery involves flattening the bone around the knee and inserting replacement tibial and femoral components, as well as a PCU spacer. In the early 2000s, companies started exploring the potential for 3D printing in knee arthroplasty and added a manufacturing method where structures are designed using CAD software and fabricated layer by layer. This method offers unprecedented design freedom as well as an increased porosity for optimal cell attachment. Investment casting is the most commonly used manufacturing method for orthopaedic implants. It allows for mass manufacture of intricate parts with high quality results. The benefits of 3D printing allow for cost and time reductions through the elimination of steps usually involved in the investment casting process. It allows for greater customization and minimal waste throughout production. 3D printing or additive manufacturing begins with your implant design. Generated using design software such as SolidWorks, it is then transferred to an SDL file and uploaded to the 3D printer. The 3D printer will then print and develop the implant as designed. Investment casting is a much longer method of manufacturing. It begins with first creating wax parts using wax injection. These parts are then assembled onto a main post or tree. And shell building involves dipping the tree into various layers of slurry, creating a ceramic shell. The wax is then removed, leaving the ceramic mould, which is heated to one, around 1000 degrees Celsius. Molten metal is then poured into the shell and left to cool. When the mould has cooled, it is then vibrated until the outer shell is removed from the metal castings, known as knockout. These are then cut from the tree and we are left with our individual castings. One of the biggest challenges facing 3D printing currently is the price of materials. With titanium powder for manufacturing being more expensive than the cost of materials for investment in casting. However, with growing interest and in development in 3D printing, new processes of manufacturing the likes of titanium powder and other materials predict a reduction in material costs over time. Regardless of the increased material cost, the reduction in labour, scrap and production costs make up for that additional cost. Labour and material use are some of the main contributing factors to the manufacturing cost of patient-specific knee implants. The cost of labour is heavily influenced by the number of processes involved in the manufacturing technique used, with the mass of the implant dictating the unit material cost. The unit mass of a cobalt chrome investment casted implant is 390.1 grams, giving it a unit material cost of 18 euro and 35 cents. However, this figure is not reflective of the total material cost per unit as it is calculated based upon the mass of the finished implant. Material lost in processes such as cutoff would inflate the material cost per unit. The material cost increases to €23.57 for the 3D printed titanium implant despite the lower mass of the implant, but it is not subject to the same material waste as the investment casted unit. To form an estimate for the labour cost of producing a total knee replacement implant through investment casting, we shall look at sample workforces found in foundries such as Stryker Limerick. Investment casting typically requires a team of 18 operatives and four mechanical engineers. Based on recent sal salary figures provided by Glassdoor, the annual salary of this workforce sums to €865,000. In comparison, the workforce required to produce a knee implant to the same state using 3D printing requires just one operative and one mechanical engineer, with an annual salary summing €80,000. The global knee replacement market has shown a steady increase in recent years due to the growth of the elderly population and a rise in life expectancy. A projected compound annual growth rate of 5.3% demonstrates the potential for improved innovative manufacturing techniques. The customised orthopaedic implant market has grown due to the demand for better fitting implants to improve patient comfort. A number of clinical benefits associated with customised knee implants that improve patient outcomes. These include improved implant fit due to better mechanical alignment of bone and bone coverage of the 3D printed knee, increased range of motion and better overall function of the implant, lower rates of adverse surgical events such as infection or hemorrhage, and shorter hospital stays. Over 70% of patients who receive a customised implant can go directly home after discharge from hospital and don't need to spend any time at an intermediate care facility. 
Custom kidney implants also have the potential to reduce healthcare costs for patients. A retrospective study of customized versus off the shelf implants for TKA showed an average saving of $913 per patient for healthcare providers. This figure has the potential to more than double to $2,200 with long term mass adoption of customized implants. A decrease in surgery costs means the patients can receive better surgical intervention for a reduced price. In fact, it is estimated that up to $38 billion in healthcare savings can be made by 2026 through the adoption of customized implants over their off-the-shelf counterparts.